Welcome to lesson number 5, working with registry. As you saw in the previous lesson, handling files is not such a hard task with MSIs. Of course, there are some industry best practices when it comes to certain types of files, but we won't get that deep into the topic. In this video, let's have a look at registries, what they are and how to manipulate them in your MSI database. Registries refer to any database that keeps different settings of the operating system. They contain information and settings for all hardware devices, software products from the system, users and so on. When a user modifies certain settings from the control panel, extensions, system policies or from other installed applications, those modifications are found inside registries. Registries are divided into a number of logical sections or keys. They will have the name by which they were accessed with Windows API, which starts with HKEE, -E, abbreviation from handle to key. Often, they are abbreviated with a name formatted of 3-4 letters, which starts with HK. The Windows operating system contains two hives, HK local machine and HK users. Just for an easy access of the information, the registry editor shows five hives. HK classes root, HK current user, HK local machine, HK users and HK current config. Each of these keys are divided into subkeys, which can contain other subkeys. Any key can contain entrances with different values. The HK classes root stores information about registered applications, including file associations or extensions, and registry that helps record files used by applications. You can look at it as a combination between HK current user classes and local machine classes. The HK current user stores settings that are specific to the user currently logged in on the machine. The HK CU is a mirror of the current user registry in HK users. The HK local machine stores settings that apply to all users on that machine. This key is found in the system root, system32, config, system, file on the anti-base version of Windows. Hardware information is located under the system key. HK users stores the corresponding HK current user subkeys for each user registered on the machine. Under HK users, you can see which settings are applied for all users on the machine, while HK current user only shows a small portion of the HK user's hive, the portion for lo the logged in user. For example, if we want to place a new registry in the HK local machine, we just navigate to the registry page in Advanced Installer and add the following registry. When we place this registry, if we navigate into the table editor and select the registry table, we can find our registry with the necessary information like the root hive, the key, name, value, what component it's present on, and so on. As a note, you can see that Advanced Installer places these two registry keys by default, the path and the version. If we check the value, we can see that it's written between brackets. It means that those values are written dynamically because they take what value is present on those properties. More on serialization and properties in later videos. As with the files, you can also delete the registry during the installation. When we navigate to the registry page and select current user software, then click on new value removal, we will be presented with this dialog box. Let's assume that we have a registry key and HK current user software manufacturer called MyKey. So let's type MyKey and click enter. 
As you can see, when we install this package, the MSI will search for this registry key present in that location and will delete it if it finds it. What we just did can be found in the remove registry table. For now, I hope you see how easy it is to add registry with advanced installer. In the next video, we will dive a bit deeper into special kinds of registry keys. Remember, you have all the information covered in this video and more in the MSI packaging book. Check the links in the description.